Are the Patriots looking to trade for Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins? I think there's a solid chance that T. ends up in Foxborough for the 2024 NFL season, and I could not be more excited for that potential fit because New England needs a wide receiver one. T. Higgins is looking for a payday. The Patriots have the cap space, and it is a perfect marriage for the two wide receiver and GM combination here at Elliott Wolf so the Patriots can get their guy and help out a rookie quarterback. I'm Nick Roloff of Patriots today. There was a report from Jeremy Fowler and he was just putting out some rumors and what he's heard and after the Jarius Sneed trade last night from Kansas City to Tennessee, where, by the way, New England was actually interested. They just didn't want to pull the trigger on that price tag, which we'll talk about in a second and tie that into New England. But the little quote here from Jeremy Fowler on T. Higgins after that trade is this. New England's been high-end shopping for receiver help. Perhaps they give up a day-two pick to get Higgins. I don't think Jeremy Fowler would say this just to say that, by the way. And then when you go back just 12 to 14 hours from now, when Legereus Sneed got traded, Adam Schefter quote tweeted that and said, Legereus Sneed got traded after being franchise tagged. Brian Burns got traded after being franchise tagged. T. Higgins hopes that those two won't be the last. So to me, that is just hammering home the fact that T. Higgins wants a payday and wants out of Cincinnati. I mean, that is agent speak if I've ever seen that. And then you could combine what Schefter said and the doubling down of T. Higgins wanting to be traded with Jeremy Fowler's report of New England's been high-end shopping for receiver help. So it's very obvious to me that he has heard that Elliot Wolf in the Patriots front office has went around inquiring about top-end wide receivers that could be available for trade. And if they've been doing their job correctly, which I hope they have been, T. Higgins seems like the logical choice if they cannot acquire Brandon Ayuk from the San Francisco 49ers. So the f- connecting dots here, guys. New England's looking for a top-end wide receiver. Higgins is looking for a trade. It makes all the sense in the world. We'll talk more about that potential fit and what a trade could possibly look like. But I want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. A lot of people have new eyes on this channel after our video yesterday with the NFL draft rumors. We will have it all, whether it be the Patriots trading for a wide receiver or anything in the NFL draft of who they're eyeing with that third overall pick or if they're looking to trade back with the Minnesota Vikings. We will have you covered on the latest NFL draft rumors surrounding the Patriots and we'll update you when the Patriots make every single pick in the NFL draft as well. So hit that sub button. All right, let's take a look at what I think the T. Higgins trade value would be because I originally came out on a video a little bit ago and said that it would likely be the 34th overall pick. It was earlier this week when I talked about trading for both T. Higgins and Brandon Ayuk, not at the same time, but like just talking about those hypotheticals. And I had Ayuk's trade value as a second round pick, number 34 for New England, and I believe I had it as a fifth or sixth round pick also going to San Francisco. Now, the luxurious knee trade maybe changes something in favor of T. Higgins not going for as much as I originally thought because I thought it would take the 34th overall pick and that's it. I think that's very fair value. It's just outside the first round. It's also the range where T. Higgins was selected. I think T. was either the first pick of the second round by Cincinnati. I believe he actually was. It was the same draft class as Joe Burrow, I believe, and Burrow went one and I think T. Higgins went 33. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. But Based off memory, I thought he was that 33rd pick. So they'd get the same pick in return, basically, that they used on T. Higgins. But I don't know if that's going to require anymore. Because if you look at the Legereus Sneed deal that just happened last night, and listen, wide receivers are probably higher valued as in comparison to cornerbacks, and it makes more sense to me that it would be like that. But think about this. Evan Lazar, someone I've talked about very much here, After the deal was a third-round pick in 2025, so not even in this draft with a 2027 pick swap, this is what happened. He said, we might be seeing cornerbacks devalued a bit. Not something I expected. It's also tough getting a huge return for a player on the franchise tag. But he thinks since he would get more for T. Higgins. Sneed originally being a fourth-rounder year-to-year volatility. 
of cornerback production, strange return. But I do think it's interesting that a player of Snead's caliber went for a 2025 third round pick and a seventh round pick swap. That is not that much. So could we see T. Higgins potentially going instead of that 34th overall pick? Maybe it's the 2024 third round pick for New England, which is 68, in addition to a future fourth or fifth round pick. Because that is very more enticing for New England to pull the trigger on than if they just sat there and sent pick 34, because that is a very high-valued pick. And then you could use pick 34 on the best player available or trade down from that and recoup more draft assets, still draft the left tackle, and maybe pick up more wide receivers in the draft. Because even if New England drafts a wide receiver at 34 or trades that pick for T. Higgins, I think New England should still look to add more more talent to this wide receiver room in the fourth, the fifth, the sixth round because this wide receiver room is deep and I think you could find talent all over the place. More discussion to be had here at Patriots today, but make sure you get started with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. That is the link is going to be in the chat and description of today's video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that code CLNS. You have, I think, maybe a couple hours here to get that freebie they're offering. More than half a point for Caitlin Clark, the all-time leading scorer in Division One basketball history, is getting a half a point more than it's a freebie. You could just pair up any other pick on the day or tomorrow if you'd like. Um, or future as well if you really want to get nuts with that pick to win up to three times your money, two more selections with it makes five times your money. It's the best reason to go start with prize picks. They have new deals for returning people who use prize picks and also new users. They are the best daily fantasy sports app to get started with. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. All right, let's shift back to T. Higgins because what he would bring to the Patriots is that true wide receiver one that can go out and be a quarterback's best friend in money situations and pressurized situations. When you look at what T. Higgins has done throughout his career, it's just been four seasons in the NFL. They couldn't use the fifth-year option because he was a second-round pick, so they had to make a decision on the franchise tag or letting him walk. They obviously tagged him, um, but he requested a trade. And his rookie year, he put up 900 yards. Like He came in the, year, the league right out of Clemson as wide receiver one for Cincinnati alongside Tyler Boyd and just absolutely flashed his potential. And then the last two seasons, not including this past one, but 21 and 22, he put up 1,000-yard seasons with five or more touchdowns as well. Like T. Higgins is some one who consistently makes productive plays for the Bengals. And then obviously in 2023 here, this past season, he only played in 12 games, had a couple injuries that lingered throughout the season and finished with, I believe, 800, 700 yards, but still got more than five touchdowns again. And he probably would have got to a thousand yards if he played the full season uh, that was 16 or 17 games in one of those ranges. But T is someone who can get open over the middle of the field, which could really benefit Drake May if he is the quarterback for the Patriots because he's an elite thrower of the over the middle of the field out of North Carolina. So that could be a good fit. But the thing that I also love the most about T Higgins is that he is someone who can get open with his route running. Is he the best route runner? No, but he has the capability of winning in the intermediate routes of 10 to 15 yards especially over the middle of the field. He's a good in-breaking route runner because he's got a big frame. And once he makes that in-cut, he can really get the defender on his back and make that catch over the middle of the field. But he's also very big, which allows him to be a contested catch and deep ball guy. He's got decent speed. He could run by you, or he could just jump over the top of you and make you look silly. If you remember that Saturday football game between the Bengals and Vikings just last December, I mean, he was going nuclear. He had two touchdowns, I believe, damn near 150 yards and he was just jumping over Vikings defenders and making them look silly and the one that always comes to mind is the one on the right hash where he comes back to the football jumps up makes the catch over the defender keeps his foot feet in bounds and then reaches out with his left hand over the pylon for a touchdown he is someone who if you absolutely need to and nobody's open and pr pressure is coming in but you see T Higgins one-on-one -on -one outside you can just throw it up the T and trust him to go make a play and that's maybe the biggest thing that New England has been lacking since Rob Gronkowski has retired 
New England has not had a guy over the past three to four seasons that they can just say, okay, if no one's open, I can throw it up to this guy and trust that it will either go into his hands or it will be incomplete. They thought they were getting that with Devontae Parker, but that dude is an absolute bum who actually creates no separation. He's the worst separating wide receiver over the last three seasons, and that is statistically proven. He creates the less separ- least amount of separation every single year. Dead last. It's not even a joke. But T is someone, you're in the red zone 10 to 15 yards. You could throw that little fade to the back corner of the end zone when you're at the five or six yard line, and that's just something New England has not had. And... It just makes play calling so much easier, and Alex Van Pelt has had a good wide receiver to work with over the last four seasons in Cleveland, specifically the last couple years with Amari Cooper, Um, and you've really seen that offense take another step here, and Cooper had big seasons. So to me, it makes all the sense in the world for New England to pull the trigger on a T. Higgins deal. Now, if it takes number 34 overall, I'd still be willing to trade that pick. Um, But if you could do it for a 2024 third-round pick and a future fifth, that would be even more ideal to keep that 34th pick, which is very valued in the NFL, open to either trading down and recouping more assets in the draft or taking a high-end offensive tackle at 34 or even doubling down and taking another stud wide receiver to pair up with T. Higgins, Demario Douglas, K.J. Osborne, and Kendrick Bourne. All right, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know if you would trade T Higgins or trade for T Higgins. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Also, you could let me know if you'd be willing to send the 34th overall pick. I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments section. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, because we are going to cover you on the latest around the New England Patriots. No matter if I'm in the office, no matter if I'm out of the office, we will have it all for you at Patriots Today. So hit that sub button.